Hello friends and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to make the skirt for the Merida outfit, which I'm very excited about and I have some exciting news about that to share with you in just a little bit. It is a pattern that I use all the time, so this is a skirt that I make quite a bit and it fits really well. I know that it fits over my bustle cage really well. It works for me, but I have never tried to put tarlatan in it. So I'm going to try to do that, and I think I'm going to put it about 10 inches up, so I'm going to copy the pattern for it and make a small pattern for just tarlatan, because I think that would be sort of better than eyeballing it all the time. <laughs> so, I mean, I could just, like, sketch it out and then, you know, but I think I might do that. And then crank the pattern out. Okay, so I got this fabric and it is pretty much exactly the fabric that I wanted, the best color. But if I bring this in, you see how pilly it is and how weird, I don't know what that is. It is like kind of movable, I don't know. Um, I'm not excited about this. <laughs> so I think I'm going to go wash it and see if I can get some of this off. Nope, not really. It's still super pilly. Fun times. Okay, I've been like playing with this thing for the last 20 minutes trying to figure out like, can I shave it? Can I do it? No, no, no I can't. No matter what I do, it just keeps pilling. Like I can clear off a little area and then the second I touch it, it pills up again. It's just part of the fabric. It's just cheap fabric. So yeah, not a fan of that fabric. That was from Fashion Fabric Fashion Club something club. No, that's not the one. Although I got this other color, which looks lighter on camera, as fabrics normally do look lighter on camera, um, which it doesn't go with it. It's too dark and camo and it's not what I want. I want something brighter and poppier. Uh, so that darker green will make a great lining someday for something and the uh, lighter green will make a great underlining someday because I don't want it to pill all over whatever I'm doing. But it will get used so don't worry about that. Like that's not a thing. The blue fabric is alright. It's not my favorite. It'll work if I have to make it. So now I'm on here looking for silk, as I am wont to do. I have a little surprise addition to a skirt if I was going to make one, which makes me kind of want to get silk. So that might happen. We'll see. I am dumb and a genius. <laughs> I have four yards of this sitting around. I like was like, wait a minute, I have silk. <laughs> what do you mean I don't have green silk? It's This is showing up for some reason now, more sort of blue. This is actually very like, very green. What if I go over here? Nope. Um, but it's good. <laughs> so I'm gonna use this because I have it and it's here and I don't have to buy anything and this is fantastic and what the hell am I doing? So yeah, great. So reminder, look in your stash because you don't always have to buy everything. Hi, someone who's supposed to be sewing out of their stash just figured out how to use their stash. My camera took a better picture of it over in this area. Yeah, that's closer. So that's what color it actually is. 
Hey guys, look what I'm doing. I'm filming a costume in color. There's Gigi and Shasta. Who's excited about today? I am. Alrighty, I'm gonna take these guys now and I'm going to make a pattern for Tarlatan that I can use over and over again. I could of course just, you know, use this pattern and stop after 10 inches, but it seems like it would be nice to have a pattern for it. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and make one real quick because I don't think it'll take very long. It's only three pieces. It's very simple. Astute watchers of Costume and Drama might note that this is the inside of the red skirt that got made as a wearable mock-up for a ball gown that never got made. But I tore the tarlatan out at some point, but I did save it and we are reusing it. So, yay. All right, everything's cut out. We have tarlatan and fabric. All right, I think I'm gonna call it for tonight. Got a significant amount done. Gonna sew this up tomorrow. I think what I'm going to do is flatline the tarlatan to the bottom, so on the sides and the bottoms, but not the top, so that there's no stitching line for people to see, and that's how it's going to get held in. I might have to tack it down. I don't know what's going to happen with it, but we'll find out, <laughs> and uh, I'm really excited about that, and yeah, carry on tomorrow. All right, today is sewing day. It is midnight already. I've had quite a day. I am getting my shot tomorrow. I'm so excited. Everybody's like, oh, you're so lucky. I'm like, mm, it's not that lucky because I have underlying health conditions that make it so that I can get this shot. So like, be careful who you're jealous of right now <laughs> because they're probably getting a shot because they deal with a lifelong illness thing that really sucks. So <laughs> don't be too jealous. Um, but I am very happy and very pleased that I get to get one. I have to wake up early for me, which means my appointment is 12.15. Uh, so, I mean, theoretically, I would go to bed early tonight, but there's no going to bed early for me. Like, I just don't fall asleep. That's not how my body works. That's how my clock works. So, I bet you tomorrow night I'll sleep, though. So, I have basically made it so that tomorrow and Thursday I don't really have to do anything. So... If I want to sleep, I can. And if nothing happens, I have plenty of extra time to do productive things. Anyway, let's get back to this. Um, today is big sewing day, so first I have to make a bobbin. Uh, 
Then I have to pin the tarlatan. Then I have to flatline the tarlatan. Then I have to pin the pieces together. And then I have to sew the pieces together. Cool. I just made a mistake, which but I didn't just make it made the other day. Which is I was supposed to cut the back on the fold. And I even remember thinking, like, shouldn't this go on the fold? And then there's markings on the seam in the back. They're really for where you're supposed to put like poof markings so that you know where to tack poofs to if you're gonna do a different version of this skirt. So I cut it with a seam and I have exactly enough fabric that I could cut a new one, but I'm like, eh, eh, that seems like a waste. Also, it's gonna be buried like under all this, so like, do I care that there's a seam in the back? Not really. Not really. It means I have to sew one more seam and that's it. So it's fine. It's really fine. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. I am using French seams. I typically use French seams for these. So I'm going to seam that seam first <laughs> so that it's done and I don't have to worry about it anymore. Sigh. Okay. Okay. Well, it's four. So I'm going to call it because I have to get up early for my appointment tomorrow which I'm so excited about. I have all of the seams done on this except the right back side seam because I want to put a pocket in so I need to cut that and do that and it takes a bunch of time and whatever and if you're going to do it with a French seam it takes even longer <laughs> so we're just going to go ahead and do that tomorrow. Here, Here's how these French seams are looking. This is the outside of the garment and then this is the inside. These seams are very nice. Um, I've gone over front seams a couple times on this channel, so I will not bore you with that this time, but if you need to know, let me know, and next time I do something, I will show you how to do it. So I'm pretty happy with the progress that I've made on this. I should be able to finish this up in the next day or two. I don't know how I'm going to feel tomorrow, so if I blow this off for a couple days, that's fine. I've got time, and I want to give myself time to rest after this if I need to, but if I'm bored and willing this will become a project for tomorrow hi <laughs> it's been like five days <laughs> you know i don't actually have to admit these things i could just be like yeah it's tomorrow you guys would have no idea you don't know when i'm doing this but no i come in here and tell you all the things okay so what's been going on i've had a rough five days guys <laughs> um and i gave myself a break because i was like nah not gonna do that i got the shot it was fabulous. I had a great time. I was very excited. And then I came home and I slept for three hours and then I woke up and I couldn't move. I was like, <sighs> it's so, I was just exhausted and I was exhausted for like two days and I took like two or three naps every day and then I couldn't sleep at night because I took naps all day and you know my body wants to be nocturnal anyway. So then I was up to like 10 or 11 in the morning and then trying to sleep during the day. It was a mess. So I was a zombie. Part of that is my own nocturnal fault. Part of my, it was my fault because I kept letting myself nap. But also, like, your body's learning new things. It's going to be exhausting and it needs more energy. So I was like, I'm going to let it sleep whenever it wants to. It's kind of like when you get the flu, except you have no symptoms. Except that you're tired. You know how, like, how, like, run down you are when you get the flu? You just want to nap all the time? It's like that. For me, that's what it was like. I don't think it's like that for everyone. I got the Pfizer vaccine for anyone who cares. So it was it was a good experience, whatever. And then Saturday I was just busy all day. Like I had a friend, my bubble buddy came over and we she got a promotion. So we celebrated with some Korean barbecue and we watched Raya and Raya was so good. Like also, I know that Raya, for those of you at Disney Plus, Raya is $30 right now. It's in premier access, but let me just make the argument for you getting Raya. First of all, it's really good. It's really good. Second of all, this production had like Asian voices, Asian writers, Asian director, like it's a big deal. And especially this week when 
the Asian community is suffering so much because of what happened last week. It's really important to send the message to Disney that we like stories that aren't just white people in castles in England. So I feel like I, that is my my shtick and my like <laughs> plea to anyone who hasn't purchased it to purchase it. Also, if you would if you would have seen it in the theater anyway, and there's at least two of you, you would have paid thirty dollars. So like, and you can watch it all, as much as you want. It will come out for free on Disney Plus in like it's either June or July or something. But like, tell Disney you want stories like this. Like, give them incentive to keep doing this because this is so good for little girls and little boys and little everybody's little non-binaries to be able to see people who look like them and see the food that they're used to and the culture that they're used to and and feel important and represented by modern media especially a huge mass conglomerate media like like disney so that is my thing it's really good <laughs> like i cried i cried <laughs> okay speaking of crying so that was saturday yesterday i was a mess <laughs> like i was like that was weird i felt like um i used to be hypoglycemic i am no longer hypoglycemic i have flipped over to being diabetic which is how i got that shot so early which means i get low blood sugar really well i used to get low blood sugar really easily so my pancreas has always been like weird about insulin so i had a day that felt like i was hypoglycemic all day like i was weak i was kind of dizzy i was a little shaky i couldn't really do anything i tried to work like a bunch and i was like i can't do this <laughs> and i'm not a person who's just like goes oh I can't and then goes back to bed I did <laughs> and then I was also like emotionally just a mess yesterday I kept crying and everything I mean I think the world is like stressful right now also I'm having a huge allergy attack you guys, you guys can see like this eye is crazy it's just been like weeping even when I wasn't crying emotionally <laughs> um it's been weeping for like days and it's like chapped now I just went in and put um like under eye cream on it with a q-tip very gently and it was like burning and stinging because it's super chapped but I think it's good for it so anyway if you see me with a red eye I have allergies I have really bad allergies I've been through five rounds of shots I've always had super bad allergies <sighs> it's spring spring has sprung and it's inside my house I like to have my windows open all the time also I have seven cats and I am allergic to cats guys so when it is shedding season it's fun times for Noel. so Yesterday was a horrible mess. <laughs> so I basically just like was like, nah, I'm not I'm not gonna do this. I'm just gonna like chill today. So I chilled. And that's kind of what you gotta do. Give yourself some grace, people, and put your own oxygen masks on first. So that's my preachy moment. Alright, so I need to cut out a pocket and then apply this pocket to my French seamed skirt. So I don't know how to do this, and I've done it before, and I never know how to do this. So I'm going to link the video that I'm going to watch again and follow the instructions down below. That video is fantastic, and it'll walk you through doing a French seam with a pocket, and it puts a French seam into the pocket as well, and it is a multi-step process. So I'll link that down for you below so that um, you guys can give credit to the person who actually made the video showing you how to do that. <laughs> so I am going to go cut that pocket, and then we will get this skirt done. Okay, clearly we have a roadblock here, and I want to share this with you so I can put it away. Um, so I had ordered, this is a dra drama saga situation. <laughs> so you guys may have remembered I showed you one of these before that I also got. It's actually a different shape, which is awesome because it means I have two different hip spring curves that I can steam over. What happened with that one was I had ordered these, and then nothing happened. And then they got marked as shipped, but the shipping company was like, I don't know, this isn't a thing. So I checked with them and they're like, yeah, we don't have an order from you for, or we don't have an order for you. So I was like, great. So I tried to contact the shop, Etsy seller. The shop is closed. Like it doesn't exist anymore. <laughs> so I'm like, <sighs> so I waited like, I don't know, three or four weeks. And then finally I was like, okay, if you're not going to respond. So I opened a case with Etsy and also PayPal. And then they had a certain window of like, I think it's like three weeks or something that they have to respond in. The last day of that window, they marked it as shipped again. And then literally three weeks later, I got this. So I think the, the seller closed the shop after my order and then thought they were going to get away with something and then didn't get away with something. And so they decided rather than return my money, they should do this because otherwise, you know, PayPal was going to make them give me my money back. So anyway, 
Um, now I have two of these, which I two of these, which I'm really excited about. This came without these wood things attached, so I had to screw them all together. But it did have holes drilled, at least in these parts, so I had to like drill them into that. But so I got a little woodworking construction. Um, so corset ham, and I had another one of these that that I called the boob. That's a lot more squishy than this, so this is very much less gratifying to grab. But it is still kind of fun to grab onto. I'm not gonna lie here. <sighs> Maybe I should start thinking about some things, questioning my life choices. Um, anyway, so I like my little boob ham. It's cute, um, and I'm excited about this guy too. And then I also got some Taylor's points. So these are all different shapes and sizes of um, point turners and pressing, so you can press seams on them. They're just good for sticking in weird spaces so that you can press. So... Anyway, I got these, and now I get to put them away because I have shown them to you, and I've been waiting to do that, so that's fantastic. I am sad about this situation <laughs> because I need to cut this pocket. This is my random pocket, which I cut out on 5 17, 13, and I have used this pocket in everything ever since. I actually may make this section just a little bit longer. Anyway, uh, this cut right here that I have is perfect. It's like straight across. It's like pristine, and I'm going to have to cut out like a random chunk of it, and that makes me super super sad but here we are okay i have them both out so you can see they are completely different shapes <laughs> this shape is more like me so i'm actually stoked that i got this one um because i am gentle <laughs> this is more how i would love to be so we'll see here also are my two boobs <laughs> uh that's funny um this one is significantly more like one squish. It's a little bit more squishy. This one's like a, a boob job. It's really hard. <laughs> mm, I think they're both useful, so I'm stoked. Remember how it was light out like two seconds ago for you guys? Did I cut out that pattern piece? No. Am I cutting out that pattern piece now? No. I'm watching my, my buddy Amanda here. Jedi Amanda, for those of you who don't know. She made an Ahsoka costume and she's showing us her shoot so I got stuck on that. I got super distracted and then I made doll and we had dinner and it was fantastic and actually I feel a lot better. <laughs> I always oh, took an abdominal colon and sinus so that is helping although my eye is still a mess. Okay for reals. <laughs> this isn't this is my life like I literally don't even start my day till like eight o'clock at night. It's weird. <laughs> I wake up at like two. I screw around in my bed for a couple hours like check in notes from people, talking to people on the internet, looking at stuff. I get up, I do a little house chore things, I do some dishes, and I'm like, hmm, dinner, should do something about that, and then I go cook, or we figure out dinner, and then have to go get it, and then we eat it, and then we're watching The Daily Show, and then it's 8 o'clock, and that's how my life is. <laughs> and then there's YouTube, constantly trying to distract me. Okay, I'm gonna watch Amanda, <laughs> and I'm gonna cut this uh, pattern piece out. I will link that video from Amanda down below. You guys should check out Amanda, she's awesome. If you like my vlogs, you are totally gonna love her. She does the same thing. Mostly she does cosplay stuff, but like, you, if you're a historical costumer and you're here, if you're a cosplayer, you know this. <laughs> if, you're, if you're a historical costumer and you're here, you should be watching some of the cosplayers because you can learn a lot from the way that they get their stuff done. Like, they have great tips on, on their videos and their, especially their vlogs. So if you wanna like learn their techniques, it's actually great. Okay, so I have cut out the pocket. Um, I'm utilizing the selvage edge, which has like a natural stop on it, which makes me hype um, on the edge of this. And I did cut it a little bit wider than normal. I decided I wanted more seam allowance here. I always kind of like end up wrinkling it right there. And I'm like, maybe if I just, you know, gave myself a little bit more grace. This is a, a life lesson hidden in a pocket, guys. I'm going to watch this video, which is How to French Seam Pockets um, by, I think her name is Kittenish, Kittenish Behavior on YouTube. It's very funny because her intro music is the same intro music as Costume and Colors. Tutorial series. Anyway, this is a great tutorial on French seaming pockets in. I'm going to also go just do that <laughs> while I do that. Uh, so you can watch her video if you want to see how this gets done. And I will come back with a French seamed pocket and the skirt that is a tube. And you thought this vlog wasn't going to be chatty and off topic. 
cool um this drawer back here has been haunting me for quite some time it is frequently the drawer with just like a bunch of crap in it that i don't really know what's going on in it there's free floating stuff everywhere like all these rulers and stuff um i'm actually really happy to have these rulers all in one place that makes me feel good but frequently there was patterns floating around so i got a folder these are like mass patterns there's a ready cool pattern in here my pocket pattern just like random patterns that i've made and they're just floating <laughs> in there which is not a good idea so I got distracted, is what just happened while I was watching that video, and I started cleaning this guy out and making it, and I also realized, like, oh, this tape should go with the other tape, and this is some um, antique brush braid, if you guys don't know what that is, let me show you. I'm a big YouTuber who can have this out. Okay, brush braid goes on the bottom of your skirts. This is antique, so, and yes, I will use it. Um, it's made out of wool and it has literally brush fibers on the end of it it is unbelievably hard to find i had this imported from an antique dealer in france who had this much of this and then a whole bunch of this so this is what i have otherwise you can go to burnley and trowbridge and just get some wool braid um which is essentially just tool tape that's made out of wool and they have it in plenty of colors um, definitely a great substitution and you just sort of like this one you can just wrap around the bottom edge of your skirt which I'm going to this is actually gonna go on that skirt right there at the end of this and it's because I don't have green or else I would use the brush braid um, but it keeps your hem safe from being ick and like torn up and back in the day this was very common so it was very easy to like replace this instead of replacing like the bottom of your silk skirt so I'm very fortunate to have this braid that I have, so I'm going to treasure it and put it with the rest of the stuff that is like this, though. <laughs> All right, I have a French seam with a pocket in it, so I'm pretty hype about that. Uh, I'll set up. I am going to go zigzag the bottom and the top of this, and then I have to set the waistband. I actually don't know if I'm going to do that tonight. I need to do some other stuff, so I might... Put that off till tomorrow now that i got this pocket thing out of the way there's been a lot of drama today with like oh there's been world drama like that colorado shooting thing happened today <laughs> i just am appalled at this planet right now that's what i have to say about that like i cannot believe that this is the way that we are like just as hi headphones as people. I just, I can't understand. I can't, I can't fathom it. There's also all this other drama going on behind the scenes and all these other different friend groups I have that I'm just like, why is everyone dramatic today? Like, can we just calm down? So I'm sewing. <laughs> I'm gonna zigzag. Okay, it's waistband attachment time. Here we are having the waistband. Uh, a lot of times in the instructions it tells you to leave this half an inch at the other end so that you can fold it back over this i don't do that <laughs> i mean i do do that but i go ahead and press it so that i can butt the thing right up under and just already have it there because once this is all pleated in here and stuff and it's thick and whatever it's really hard to get like a nice crisp edge on that so i just get it at the beginning and then i know that this is where my pleating has to stop and this is the end of the rope <laughs> so i don't have to wonder i don't have to sit there going wait do i have a half an inch still blah 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 i also do this pressing first and in fact i'm gonna go through and do one more where i do the half an inch on the other side um this side i leave because this side gets um sewn down and then flipped over so I don't have to worry about this one, but this side I'm going to go ahead and press over ahead of time because I, I have followed the instructions and every time they tell you to do this stuff, sort of like as you're putting it on the skirt, by the time you get the skirt on there, there's so much crap going on. It's, it's just so much easier to have it done already. So that's what I do. And this is what it looks like when you press under a half an inch. This is the half an inch that will get sewn down, so it all works great. Okay, so now I gotta pin it in, and you just start on one side, and it's the front of it because the um, skirt's uh, slit, the side slit, is in the side. 
it's not in the back. Sometimes they're in the back, sometimes they're inside. This one is in the side, which means I just do the whole front straight and then I pleat whatever's left into the remaining area and we're all good. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. So I have that all pleated now, as you've seen. I hope my pleating method makes sense to you. I'm sure other people do it this way. I've just never seen anyone do it that way, so I figured it out one day where I was just like, oh, I can just set half marks all the way across and then bring them back in and then do that on both sides and then I can match the pins and it makes it somehow easier for me. I don't know if it makes it easier for anyone else. I'm probably doing it the like super tedious and slow way, but kind of what works for me so I'm gonna go sew this down all this pleating and straightening and futzing that I do is to stop it from becoming a chaos in the sewing machine which believe me I have experienced every form of okay so I have this all pinned in here and I'm just gonna sit here and hand sew this in because it's easier <laughs> okay I've just had like a three hour gab session with Nikki on the phone <laughs> Um, and in that time I got this guy on and stitched in, which is great and it looks good. And then I also got the hem double folded, ironed, and pinned, and I am going to hand sew this down. So I'm just going to come back and do that tomorrow because it is 5.19 in the morning and it is time to go to bed. Okay, here is the skirt on the form. I will show you the back and then I'm gonna put on the rest of the outfit so you can see what it all looks like together. There is the silhouette going, which I really like. So I do like the tarlatan in it, it's holding it out very nicely. So that's what that looks like. Okay, I guess I gotta get way closer to get it to show, but there's it with the skirt. Here's a side profile. I think the color is freaking perfect. <laughs> I'm glad because I spent like two weeks making this skirt. <laughs> Unnecessarily. Actually, I spent like three days making this skirt and two weeks like not doing anything. Well, I didn't feel good for a while. <laughs> Compassionate deadlines, folks. Compassionate deadlines. So there's what that looks like. All right, here's where we're gonna talk about what I'm not doing in this video, because this is going to take me for freaking ever, like just for freaking ever. So I just don't want to, <laughs> is actually where we're at. Um, and I think I would make you wait two more weeks for this video, which is dumb. So anyway, Christine, so Steen, lovingly made me this. So I found a person online who had done maybe like this much of this design. I'll, I'll try to put it up here so you can see what I had. So um, I checked out her website thing. I was like one of those old art sites that is now like defunct. 
Anyway, she said before she decided to not be on that website anymore, like, please go ahead and use this for cosplays and do whatever you want with it. So I was like, oh, okay, great, I'm allowed to use this, fantastic. I do check for those things, and I don't like to nab someone else's work, even if I'm going to change it, like, you should give them credit. <laughs> so um, I'm going to list her information down below. Also, she's not on that site anymore, though, so it doesn't really matter, but just for posterity's sake, I will do that. Um, so I took the design, I cut it in half, and then I mirrored it so I could get these bears for my skirt. So these are going to, there's going to be seven of these, they're 14 inches wide, so I think there's going to be seven, and they will basically go nose to nose all the way around the hem of my skirt. So I will have some blingy decoration down there at the bottom. Okay, so the reason you're not going to see this, and you might actually, because I'm going to film a, here's all the stuff I don't show you in videos, <laughs> video, so that you actually know the pain that those things are. <laughs> They're basically all the finishing things that, like, nobody ever talks about, and they leave wrong, like, you know, no one knows if your hooks are eye and eyes are in in your video, so nobody puts those in, they do them afterwards. So, <laughs> um... Or they'll put in one for the filming and then do all of the rest later. So, like, the internet is lies, guys. Just so you know. Anyway, um, so in order to get from this to on my skirt, I have to first take them and then iron them. Or, sorry. For, take them, wash them to get all this stabilizer off. And it's uh, water-soluble. But it does leave a kind of um, starchy quality to it. And you get this, like, very stiff, weird thing. <laughs> this is one that failed. Um, also, because of the way that embroidery works just in general some of the stitches are really long and then they do this and it's really hard to iron that out so I'm gonna have to figure out a way to get this kind of like hole situation to either not happen this is a test one so it's okay that this looks like this <laughs> um, or I'm gonna have to take some some additional uh, thread and fill in some stuff. So I'm trying to figure out how to do that. So Christine is remotely teaching me how to work with this stuff and I am a giant failure at it and she's awesome at it. So <laughs> I'm learning though. Um, so we're going to work with that. Anyway, so then you, you, so you get the stabilizer off. So that's what's happened here is it's all melted off and then I've ironed it badly. Um, I can go put this underwater again and try to re-iron it. So that's part of what I'm going to do. But I also have a micro iron and I might use that on just like select parts of this. So we'll see. Then you have to like cut it out. <laughs> so I was, this is a completely bunk one. That was actually one of her trials that didn't work out, but she sent them to me so I could practice on them. So I cut the, cut uh, this edging off and it is much harder to get it really close than you think. Um, and then I actually took Morgan's advice because I was on the phone with her for like ever last night and she was telling me, hey, why don't you just burn it off? And I was like, oh, genius. So I did that on this one and it looks great. I love the way that that looks. It's very clean. There are maybe some little sections that like you can see, but it's way better than just cutting it for sure. Um, so I did that, <laughs> but I'm like set it on fire. <laughs> and she's like, oh, that's okay. It's authentic to the, <laughs> the medieval days. So don't worry about it. And I'm like, yeah, it's actually not on the front at all. So I'm not actually worried about it. And, and if I burn the back, I'm fine with that. Uh, and I do have an, an extra bear should the need arise. So yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to work through all of this. All of this takes so much time. Like this takes so much time just to make all of this work, get to get it to this place. And then I'm gonna have to applique them on my skirt. So fun times that I'm not looking forward to. <laughs> um, and I don't know how I'm going to do that exactly because I don't know if I need to applique like around these open parts because, you know, they are open um, and they could come away from the skirt, I guess. I don't know. I'm going to do the outside and see how it looks. Um, but yeah. So I'm not going to show that entire process here. I will put parts of it in another video for you guys to see so you can see how much pain I'm in um, because the internet loves living off my pain. <laughs> so let's do that. Uh, but I don't want to make you wait for this video. Okay, I'm over here to give you guys a little serotonin boost. There you go. Still need to do these things. Uh, these are left on the bodice. These are left on the overskirt. So we'll get in there. This is the old skirt. I don't actually need to do this to like move on, but there's also the wig. 
I just, I need to fluff it, I think. I don't know. I'll make a video. We'll see. All right, with that, I think I'm gonna leave this here. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't. There's a little bell if you wanna know when my videos go live, um, your phone will tell you or whatever. And yeah, I am excited to, like the main body of this is, you know, pretty finished. There are things I need to do on it though, so that's gonna happen. And there's also the wig, which I just mentioned needs to get fluffed. So. We still got a ways to go and it's a lot of tedious little fiddly work so i'm probably just gonna be like chugging away in here doing that um i have a couple other projects i kind of want to like squeeze in too which mm. anyway so uh anyway i will see you guys later with another video so anyway let me know how you guys are i feel like we haven't chatted in a while i had a little bit of chit chat in this video <laughs> the one about uh the wig i'm probably just gonna sit there and fluff and like talk to you guys for an hour about stuff so you like a chatty video that one will probably be one or the one where I'm doing all the like little things because I'll be like ah more little things so <laughs> I hate all the finishing stuff it's annoying okay really I just don't like buttonholes um, but this machine looks like it's gonna be amazing so I am excited about them for that reason so okay I will see you guys later let me know how you are let me know how you're doing are you guys getting your shots like where are you in the world um, Americans are doing well on getting shots uh, supposedly sometime in April every person in America is going to be eligible for their shots uh, over a quarter of Americans have already gotten their shot which I'm super excited about this down lighting is very strange today I don't know what to do about that Anyway, yeah, let me know how you guys are all doing, how you're holding up with your various forms of lockdown slash not lockdown. Lots of America is out of lockdown because a lot of us are sh have shots, so <laughs> there, stuff's opening up. And some of that is great and some of it's horrible. Like, ooh, Florida, what's going on over there? Anyway, uh, I will see you guys next time with another video. I have um, Merida in playlist now, so if you have missed any of them, there's playlist options for you to watch. I will link that here and down below for you. Alright, see you guys next time. Bye!